Today, we are presenting new Hubble evidence for water vapor plumes being expelled from the ice surface of Europa. Europa is the second closest Galilean satellite to Jupiter, a classical icy world and a truly compelling astrobiological target in the solar system. Observations indicate a global saline liquid water ocean engulfs the moon at the present time hidden under miles of ice. The figure shows a Hubble ultraviolet transit image with the Galileo spacecraft map of Europa superimposed. The features we're talking about, the plume candidates, can be seen around the southern region towards the bottom of the figure, offset from the edge of Europa. The image is shown in such a way that any regions where absorption may be occurring appear bright. As you can see, there are intriguing features apparently emerging from Europa. So I do want to inject a word of caution. We are really working at the limits of Hubble's unique capabilities. This is an animation to show the general idea of plumes. If water vents open in the ice, then plumes may emerge and rain back down onto the surface. If they do, then it may be a lot easier to access material that was once in the ocean of Europa. Europa orbits Jupiter every three and a half days, and on every orbit it passes in front of Jupiter, raising the possibility of plumes being seen as silhouettes absorbing the background light of Jupiter. Europa is tidally locked to Jupiter, and so always presents the same viewpoint. We always see the same side of Europa as it moves from left to right in this il illustration. We obtained 10 images of Europa as it passed in front of Jupiter, and statistically significant evidence for off-limb features, possibly plumes, was found on three occasions. This figure shows those three images with a color scale that relates to the likelihood the features are real. The Galileo spacecraft image of Europa has been inserted for illustration, showing again that we always see Europa from the same perspective. This is significant because it means that if the features are real, they have to be intermittent, because we're always viewing the same part of Europa and we did not see anything on seven occasions. The possible plumes are mostly clustered around the southern edge, although there is, an also, there is also one candidate at a more equatorial location, which you can see in the central image from March 17th of 2014. In conclusion, this slide repeats the image of the first plume candidate. If plumes exist, this is an exciting finding, as it potentially gives easier access to the ocean below, and would allow us to search for signs of life in the ocean of Europa without needing to drill through miles of ice. However, I do want to stress that the observations are at the limit of what Hubble can do. We're not aware of any instrumental artifacts that could cause these features. They are statistically significant, but we remain cautious because we are working at difficult wavelengths for Hubble. We do not claim to have proven the existence of plumes, but rather to have contributed evidence that such activity may be present. Thank you.